Hey YouTube, how are you all doing? Today is the 1st of April and it's April Fool's Day. Ah. Okay, enough fooling about. I'm in the woods and I'm going to try uh, an experiment. So, uh, don't go away. Okay, so first things first. My uh, experiment is to bury this uh, bucket with some uh, gear that I had lying about and uh, I'm going to leave it uh, buried for six months until August. No, no, until September actually. Six months will be September. Today is the 1st of April and uh, in six months time I will come back, dig it out and we'll spend the night in the forest uh, using only the things that I've left in this bucket. So let's have a look and see what, what I am going to put in the bucket. Okay, so I've brought a list with me so it makes uh, it easier to explain as I go along. So first of all I'm going to start with the food. The food, I'm taking a tin of uh, beef. Now this tin weighs uh, 320 grams and all in all it has uh, about 380 calories so not bad very nice little tin and it also has a, you know, a pull ring so it's easy to open and I don't need to have uh, a tin opener or use my knife uh, to open the tin either so that's one I'm gonna go putting it in the bucket as we go along uh, the next thing I have is some pate, this is liver, uh, liver pate and uh, this weighs uh, about 240 grams and it has 600 calories so that's also going in. I'm also putting in a little jar of peanut butter uh, so peanut butter, this is uh, 250 grams and it has a whooping 1530 calories. So this uh, three items of food should keep me going for the whole day and even more without any problems. Then for breakfast or whatever I have two little packets of porridge. Now they're uh, 40 grams each and they each have 150 calories, not much, but it should be a little boost in the morning. Okay, so that's the, the food bit. Shelter. I'm going to be putting in uh, my basher, this is an extra one that I have. That one's going in the bucket, so this should give me a nice little roof for a lean-to. Of course for the basher I'm putting some rope also in, it's about 15 meters of rope, not paracord but I've, uh, I've tested this rope before and it's rather good. So, okay. Of course I'm putting in some toilet paper. Uh, for my fire kit I'm putting in some uh, cotton wool. I'm sorry if you can't see well because of the sun but yes it is sunny today. So yes I've got some cotton wool, I've got two matchboxes, cheap ones. Then I've got two homemade fire starters. These babies burn real good. One of these can burn for about 12 to 15 minutes lighting up any kind of wood. Okay, I'm also putting in a hand sanitizer for many reasons. I mean, you can use this to start a fire, you can use this, of course, to clean your hands and that. It is not new, it is not full, but that's what I had. I'm putting it in, I'm putting in a little uh, packet of plasters, some ibuprofen, painkillers, some coal, sorbex, for the stomach and uh, an old torch works rather well with two batteries that's also going in okay 
Also putting in a little packet of chewing gum, Orbit, without sugar. <laughs> With sugar would be better, but I can't really have any sugar, though the food I'm taking has sugar, but anyway, it's complicated. The chewing gum is going in. I'm also putting in a packet of cigarettes. Yes, I do not encourage smoking, but I smoke. That's a fact. Live with it. Okay. I'm putting in an old cup. Yes, it's all sooty. <laughs> so this uh, cup, this is uh, what I'm going to be using for... Uh, for heating water, for boiling water, I mean, for cooking, uh, for everything. Everything will be done in this cup. I'm also taking fork, spoon and knife set, there we go, that's going in there, just to make life easier to eat, I mean it's not necessary to have it, but then my only cutting tool is this cheap knife, stainless steel, cuts well, but I've never really put it to the test, yeah, so just to do some minor work, nothing more, that's also going there, that's going to be a challenge going with a cheap little blade we'll see of course I have my little ferro rod this is one of the little ones it's brand new but I've used others like this before so I know they work ferro rod for fire then I have a little space blanket this one's only 130 centimeters by 210 centimeters so not not the biggest but I think it'll do Right, I'm also going to put in the uh, hobo stove, which I made myself. Little, as you can see, compared to my hand. And uh, yes, I did put even a, a little door with a hinge and, you know, to open and close the airflow. And I've got my little uh, metal net in here, as you can see, which goes on top to support the cup. So. Basically, this will be fine for cooking. Uh, as you can see, I've used it uh, before and I know it works, so... I'm only taking, I'm only putting in here gear... <coughs> I'm only putting in here gear which I've tested and I know I can rely on. Okay, and finally, but definitely not the least, is water. I am only taking... Uh, 750 milliliters of water, that's uh, a bit less than a liter of course, and this is the only water that I'm going to leave here, but I've got uh, a lake nearby, about 20 to 25 minutes walk, so I suppose I could always leg it to catch more water with this bottle and then boil it in my cup, so that's the idea. Right, as you can see it all fits nice and snug and that bucket, the bucket is rather big and the lid should close and kind of seal the whole thing as you can see it clicks closed so it means it should be sealed more or less okay now to find the spot for this Right, uh, I have chosen this spot which is far away enough from my uh, camp so that uh, if my camp is compromised I can dig it out and nobody will be the wiser. So I do have some landmarks around which will help me uh, not to forget where I've left my gear. So I need to start digging. Wow, that's hard work. I haven't dug a very deep hole uh, because I'm sure that nobody would be looking for anything like that around here. And uh, so I think the hole is ready, so let's stick this in. Yeah. 
nice and snug. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've put that uh, broken branch on top. Of course, if you look carefully, you can see that I've been digging there, but as I said, uh, I'm not expecting anybody around here. And if I lose the gear, well, I chose uh, cheap gear to put in there, except for the basher. Uh, I would really miss the basher. Everything else was uh, it's just, no, it's okay if I lose it, so, but hopefully I won't. So that's it, the job is done. Uh, it was a bit of hard work because it's rather warm today. So I'll be back in uh, six months and uh, I'll spend the night uh, only with what's in the bucket. So basically I'll come only with the clothes that I have on me and use the bucket maybe even for two nights. We'll see, we'll see. So hopefully everything will still be there and the experiment will come out well. But okay, thank you for joining me, for coming with me, for watching my videos. Uh, Bushcraft Ukraine out and God bless.